Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I am not in my kitchen, obviously. I am sitting down at my computer and I have a vlog episode for you and I'm gonna be talking all about the microwave. Now, every once in a while, I get some people commenting on my videos, complaining about using, that I use a microwave sometimes or also they try to bring up um, myths that microwaves are bad and that you shouldn't use them. And shame on me for using a microwave in my videos. So here we go, I have some uh, sources, some scientific sources um, that I wanna share with you. I wanna dispel some myths out there um, because, and some people might just not have all the information or um, maybe they've heard things who have heard things, who have heard things. And uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna share some information about the microwave. And uh, if you don't wanna use a microwave, that's totally fine. There's other options that you can use. If you're heating up water or liquids, you can just use your use a pan on your stove top. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's totally up to you. I, I just think it's really funny when people comment on YouTube about the way that other people cook or use certain tools that people have been using for years and years. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not gonna go too much into the comments uh, in specific in uh, specific details. I just wanna talk about the microwave and dispel some myths out there. And maybe this could alleviate some concerns that people, legitimate concerns that people might have about using the microwave. So here we go. The first article I want to discuss or talk about here is from Harvard the Harvard Medical um, School. So this is pretty legit, Harvard Medical School. So here we, here we go, here is the, the article, Microwave Cooking and Nutrition. And this was originally published in January 2015 and was later updated in February 6th of 2019. So it's very recent uh, information. And the title line is, Microwave cooking may be quick and easy, but are microwaves safe for your food? Bum, bum, bum. And so here we go, it says, are microwaves bad for your health? Almost every American home has a microwave oven. The convenience they offer is undeniable, but despite the widespread use of microwave ovens and their excellent safety record, some people have lingering doubts that cooking, with, cooking food with microwaves somehow makes food less healthy by zapping the nutrients out of the food. Does cooking with microwaves do that? Is microwave food healthy? Let's find out. So first it talks about how um, microwave cook foods in general. I'm not gonna go into all those details, but so you can, I'll post all the links to these articles down below so you can read them in their entirety if you're curious. So it talks about how a microwave works and then we go into, are microwaves safe for cooking your food? Some nutrients break down when they are exposed to heat, whether it is from a microwave or a regular oven. Vitamin C is perhaps the clearest example, but because microwave cooking times are shorter, cooking with a microwave does a better job. Let me repeat that cooking with a microwave does a better job preserving vitamin C and other nutrients that break down when heated. Mmm, wow. Better job. Interesting. As far as vegetables go, cooking them in water robs them of some of their nutrient nutritional value because the nutrients leach out into the cooking water. For example, boiled broccoli loses some kind of word that I can't pronounce, glucinolate, um, gl glucosinate, the sulfur-containing compound that may give the vegetable its cancer-fighting properties, as well as the taste that many find distinctive and some find disgusting. Is steaming vegetables, even microwave steaming, better? In some respects, yes. For example, steamed broccoli holds on to more glucosin glu glucosinolate, glucosinolate, say that five times fast, <laughs> than boiled or fried broccoli. Whoa, interesting. Are microwaves bad for your health? 
The cooking method that best retains nutrients is one that cooks quickly, heats food for the shortest amount of time, and uses as little liquid as possible. Microwaving meets those criteria. Using the microwave with a small amount of water essentially steams food from the inside out. That keeps in more vitamins and minerals than almost any other cooking method and shows microwave food can indeed be healthy. But let's not get lost in the details. It says vegetables pretty much any way you prepare them are good for you and most of us don't eat enough of them. And is, is the microwave oven good or bad? The microwave is a marvel of engineering, a miracle of convenience, and sometimes nutritionally advantageous to boot. Well, thank you, Harvard Medical School. <laughs> All right, so that's one cool example. Let's go on to another, shall we? Another source. Everyone's favorite web doctor, WebMD. Oh yeah, I know people out there who are watching have used WebMD from time to time when you probably should have gone to the real doctor, but instead you self-diagnosed using WebMD. <laughs> well, anyway, here's an article that they have. Do microwaves zap nutrition? The rumor, zapping food in a microwave leaches out key nutrients. We've all heard about how microwaving food removes some nutritional value, but is it true? Is something bad happening to our food behind the microwave glass? Ooh. The verdict. If you do it right, cooking food in the microwave is one of the best ways to retain your food's vitamins and minerals. Let me say that one more time. If you do it right, cooking food in the microwave is one of the best ways to retain your food's vitamins and minerals. There are dangers to microwaving your food. You could get scalded for one. If you use the wrong kind of plastic, one that says, one that doesn't say microwave safe, <laughs> unhealthy chemicals could seep into your food. But if you're concerned about getting the most nutrition out of your eats, microwaving is a safe bet. In fact, it's near the top of the list for nutritionally sound food preparation methods. If you use your microwave with a small amount of water to essentially steam food from the inside, you'll retain more vitamins and minerals than with almost any other cooking method. Wow, that's the second time we've heard that now. Awesome. Still doubts? Still doubting out there? All right, let's check something else. This might be relatable to more people out in, in the world. The World Health Organization. WHO, World Health Organization. Now this article is a little old from February 20, 2005, but it still holds up. Electromagnetic fields and public health microwave ovens now there's a lot here that's kind of unless you're like uh, i mean i'll let i'll leave that up to you if you want to read it all um, but I, this part that i want to read here are microwave ovens safe when used according to the manufacturer's instructions let me highlight that when using according to manufacturer's instructions microwave ovens are safe and convenient for heating and cooking a variety of foods However, several precautions need to be taken, specifically with regards to potential exposure to microwave thermal burns and food handling. So don't go grabbing the, the bowl right away. It's gonna be hot. So those are the precautions that you wanna take. Um, but if you're cooking with your oven, it's the same thing, right? If you're cooking on your stovetop, you're not gonna go ahead and grab that pot without grabbing the handle, right? You're not gonna grab the outside of the pot. You're gonna grab the handle, which it won't be as warm. Do, 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 do. Food safety. Food safety is an important health issue. In a microwave oven, the rate of heating depends on the power rating of the oven and the water content, density, and the amount of food being heated. Microwave energy does not penetrate well into thicker pieces of food and may produce uneven cooking. This can lead to a health risk if parts of the food are not heated sufficiently to kill potentially dangerous microorganisms. Because of the potential for uneven distribution of cooking, food heated in the microwave oven should rest for several minutes after cooking 
is completed to allow the heat to distribute throughout the food. So that goes back to the proper use of the microwave when cooking. And that's specific food. It's more like pieces of chicken that might be really uneven. Um, we're not talking about vegetables and things like that. We're talking about foods like chicken. You, you got to use a little bit more precaution as it states because that could have some uneven cooking. Then it says food cooked in the oven. Food cooked in the oven is as safe and has the same nutrient value as food cooked in a conventional oven. Let me read that one more time. Food cooked in an oven, microwave oven, is as safe as and has the same nutrient value as food cooked in a conventional oven. The main difference between these two methods of cooking is that microwave energy penetrates deeper into the food and reduces the time for heat to be conducted throughout the food, thus reducing the overall cooking time. And there's other some misconceptions here. Um, to dispel some misconceptions, it is important to realize that food cooked in a microwave oven does not become radioactive, <laughs> nor does any microwave energy remain in the cavity of your food after the microwave oven is switched off. In this respect, microwaves act just like a light. When the light bulb is turned off, no light remains. There we go. There's a lot of good information there. So there we have it, folks, friends. Um, three different legitimate sources of scientific information and whatnot. Microwave ovens are safe. So please don't, if you don't want to use one because you like to be old school and use the oven for things, that's totally fine. Um, but you can use them. They are safe. Um, and I would be careful. Don't go out there complaining to other people who use the microwave and don't cry wolf because someone is using a microwave. Okay. Microwaves are good. Microwaves are our friends. We like them. <laughs> anyway, I'm Matt Taylor. Thanks for tuning in. That was another vlog episode. I do those from time to time. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my other videos. Until next time, happy cooking, baking, and microwaving, everyone. <laughs>